Hey everybody, it is Thursday. I hope you're having a great day. In 1739, Charles Wesley, brother of John Wesley, the founder of Methodism, Charles wrote a poem about the birth of Jesus. Now, Charles Wesley wrote hundreds of poems, so no one particularly took notice of this particular poem. 101 years later, in 1840, Felix Mendelssohn, the composer, wrote a cantata celebrating the 400th anniversary of the invention of the printing press for the Gutenberg Festival, Gutenberg being the inventor of the printing press, which, of course, by the way, the printing press was a key part of getting the Bible into people's hands, regular people's hands. It was a key part of the Protestant Reformation. But anyway, they had a festival celebrating the invention of the printing press, and Felix Mendelssohn wrote a cantata for that festival. He hoped that his music uh, would uh, become popular. He hoped that the tunes from that cantata uh, would become popular tunes. But again, no one particularly paid attention to those tunes. Then, 15 years later, a British singer by the name of William Heyman Cummings put the two together. He took Mendelssohn's tune and Charles Wesley's poem, and here's what came from that. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. That's right. The hymn, the Christmas carol, Hark the herald angels sing, came from combining Mendelssohn's music and the words written a hundred years earlier by Charles Wesley. Now, this is my favorite Christmas hymn, my favorite Christmas carol. Think about these words. Listen to these two verses real quick. Hark, the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king, peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. Joyful all ye nations rise, join the triumph of the skies, with angelic hosts proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark, the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. Now we may all know that verse, Listen to this other verse, which I actually like even better than the first verse. Christ, by highest heaven adored, Christ, the everlasting Lord, late in time behold him come, offspring of the virgin's womb, veiled in flesh the Godhead see, hail the incarnate deity, pleased as man with men to dwell, Jesus our Emmanuel. Hark, the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. It took three men who never met each other to create my favorite Christmas song. And that reminds us again, very few great things are the product of just one person. The body of Christ has many parts, and we need all of them. Hey, start telling your friends about our Christmas Eve plans. We're going to have a very special online Christmas Eve service that we've been working on already for a couple of weeks. It'll premiere on Christmas Eve, on YouTube, on our website, on Facebook. And for the first time ever, we're going to have a very special outdoor Christmas Eve service, a service under the stars in our parking lot at 6 o'clock on Christmas Eve. And both of these will involve Holy Communion. Uh, I think they're going to be two very neat experiences, one online, one in our parking lot. So start spreading the word. And remember, God is good all the time.